Hey guys, no one man here. So I'm here to announce my brand new GHTCP hack. So what this hack does is it adds five brand new features to the game. I've spent the past week working on this and perfecting it. So I hope you guys like it. So how you actually get the hack is in the description below, there'll be a download. So you're gonna download it, it's a zip file, and you're going to just put all those files, you don't need the change log, but just put the MIDI to chart.dll and the ghtcp.exe file in the ghtcp install directory. And if you don't know where that is, it'll be here on screen right now. So the main feature of this hack is you can now import tap note songs like you would normally import any chart file. You don't have to go through and do the crazy changing of the Zen files and stuff like that. And more specifically, you can have a fret mask up to 31. So this will future proof the program. So if anyone creates any new hacks like open notes or something, you can automatically import them. So the next new feature is you can now export a song as a chart file. So to do that, on the left hand side of GHTCP, you want to select the song you want to export. Go to File, and if you go to Export Song Chart, now the new top option is Chart File. So this allows for easy exporting of songs to send to friends or something like that. So the next new feature actually fixes a problem in the old GHTCP. So before when you exported a QBC or DBC sort of chart file, it wouldn't export titles, sections, artists, stuff like that with it. And that was just a problem with what Max Killer did with his program. Well now I was able to fix that and now QBC files, DBC files, and chart files all export all that information. The next new feature actually allows you to export an entire set list as a bunch of chart files. So if you go and select the set list you'd like to export here, and you go to File, and there'll be a new option that says Export Set List as Charts. So if you just select that, and select the location you'd like to install it at, or save the chart files at, you now have a bunch of chart files. So the last feature I added is a brand new MIDI interpreter. So the problem with Max Killer's MIDI interpreter was that if you tried to import a MIDI file with tap or force notes, it just wouldn't get recognized in Guitar Hero 3. Well now I changed it to a new one, which is Raphael Goulart's MIDI interpreter, which actually allows you to have forced and tap notes from a MIDI file. So if you have like a Guitar Hero game or Rock Band game that you'd like to import into Guitar Hero 3, you now have full force and tap notes through those. As well as there's a new option that allows you to um, force MIDI's to be imported using the Rock Band 3 format, which uses a slightly different MIDI interpreter. So you can now fully import MIDI's correctly.